I don't want to cut this plant at all. What's up, plant fam? Welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lauren, and for today's video, I am so stoked. I'm literally freaking out. I'm freaking out because I am doing an unboxing, but this package is actually a philodendron pink princess. This is a plant that I've been talking about so much, and it's finally here and I can't wait to share this unboxing experience with you guys. This video is also super exciting because it kicks off a series that I'm starting in my channel where I am unboxing rare and uncommon plants from my wish list that I mentioned in my previous video. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I have been eyeing on this plant for a while and I won this in an auction. And yes, I did win it in an NSC Tropicals auction and I am stoked. It literally has Enid's name on this box and I feel like I'm going to keep it forever because she touched this box. But I have no words. I am so stoked. I am not going to tell you how much I paid for this plant because some of you guys will freak out at the price, but I'm excited. I'm stoked. I can't believe it's finally here. So let's get this unboxing going. All right, let's get started. So I just turned off my grow lights in the background because I think it may throw off the lighting a little bit, but here it is. Now, while I'm opening this up, guys, I actually had a mini heart attack because it said it was delivered in my mailbox. So, of course, I ran to my mailbox to pick up the plant and I got a slip from USPS saying that it had to be re-delivered. And I was like, if there was one plant where this could not have happened it was this plant like this was the worst situation i could ever be in <laughs> like it could have been any other plant but this one i hope that makes sense so i drove as fast as i could to the usps office and they said it wasn't there and that probably it was still either on route in the driver's truck or it could actually be in the mailroom of my apartment. My apartment does have a separate package room and usually when you get a package you get a code to unlock the room to get your package but I didn't get one and so the USPS office was like just call your leasing office if it's not there then it should be here tomorrow so I am still freaking out, but of course, once I go to the leasing office, rest assured the plant was in the mail room. So we secured the goods. So, you know, it's never an easy time when it comes to these plants, but I am opening the box now. Okay, so this end is the root ball. So let me just try to finesse this tape to get it open. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I can't. I think I'm going like at the slowest pace possible, but guys, like, oh my god. All right, guys, here we go. Ooh. Okay, so, so far from the looks of it, it's still perfectly fine, you know, covered in tape. The tape doesn't look crinkled or anything. Now, I wonder if I could pull it straight from the top. No, I'm not going to. 
I'm not going to. I'm just, well, let me. I don't want to cut this plant at all. I just got a glimpse of the most beautiful leaf ever. Okay, Lauren. Okay, maybe, no, okay. I'm seeing it slowly as I unravel it. Guys. Okay, maybe I should put the scissors down. But here she is. can't believe this is my plant oh my god okay first of all it's in impeccable condition no wrinkled or torn or bent leaves which I wasn't even worried about because this is coming from NSC tropicals but the pink variegation on this plant is more beautiful than I've ever seen in photos and I literally cannot believe it's in my hands. Okay, let me give you guys a closer look at this plant. All right, here we are. Um, let's show this plant right here. So this is beautiful variegation. I think this is the newest leaf so far because it's still getting its green color. Oh my God. There's this, I mean, all these leaves are beautiful. Just look at that. Look at the stems, guys. The stems are like hot pink. I don't even know if I'm in the frame. It doesn't matter. Look at the plant, not in my face. But the stems are hot pink and burgundy. Like, holy cow. Like, it's so healthy. Look at these aerial roots. Can you see that? Look at those aerial roots and this, this leaf right here. This leaf was the first leaf that I saw when I was opening up my package and I just died. Oh my God, okay. Okay, let me just take out the packaging fill and look at the stems more carefully, which I'm sure they're fine and that should conclude this video. Okay guys, here she is. She's so beautiful. This gives you a better image right here of the aerial roots. And look at the variegation in the stems right here between that hot pink and that burgundy. It is interesting, there's this root coming out right here. So I don't know if this needs to be repotted or this is a random aerial root, it can't be. But even if it does need to be repotted, I am obviously not going to for a couple of weeks because it needs to get acclimated to its new environment in the pot in my room and from there I will judge if this plant needs to be repotted but I have made that face the whole time. I can't believe it's finally here and I am absolutely so stoked and speechless. Well, that's it for the video, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this one. Again, this video kicks off a very exciting series, like I mentioned, where I will be unboxing all the plants on my rare plant wish list along the way when I get them. This was the absolute perfect plant to start off this new series and I hope you can tell how excited I am. I'm grinning ear to ear over this plant. Thank you guys for staying tuned and making it all the way to the end. If you like this video, please subscribe and like this video if you want to see more of my content. It really means so much to me guys and thank you for everything. I'll see you in the next video.